guys, Howard here with Mind Games by John Lennon, a uh, solo effort on his part. Excuse the frog in my voice, I'm still getting over a bit of a cold, but I will muddle my way through, okay? I get a lot of requests for Beatles songs all the time, and I've done a lot of Beatles stuff, but I also get people wanting their solo efforts. I've done a lot of George Harrison stuff, even a couple by Ringo Starr, maybe a few by Paul. And I think I've only done a few of John's as well. And uh, so uh, I got a request to show you how to play mind games on guitar, which is obviously a tune I'm guessing that was very much written on piano. I'm going to show you how I like to play it, but of course you can just strum the chords out, which I'll also talk about briefly. But I'm going to put the tab up on the screen right now and walk you through the chords and show you how I'm playing it. So the first chord is really simple. It's a C chord. And what I do is I play the first two notes of the C chord followed by the strumming. So it's down, 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 up. And you're going to use that for the remainder of the chords in the opening of the song, which functions as both a chorus and a verse, okay? So the song is based on that classic descending bass line thing. Which you hear in so many songs, right? Especially a lot of the Beatles stuff. So again, I'm on the C chord. And then we move to E minor, but we want to play off of the A string, the fifth string, to capture again that descending bass pattern. Then we move to A minor, use the open A string. And then it's an A minor 7 with a G in the bass, so take your ring finger and put it on the third fret of the sixth string. So you'll skip a string for this one, which you can see on the tab. And just hang with the uh, higher notes of the chord. So we have and then we move to an F major 7 which I like to play like this but you can also play that by using your thumb on the first fret on the sixth string whichever works best for you and then it moves to a C over E and uh, the way you want to think about this it looks more like an A minor 7 chord but if you think of a C chord Take your ring finger off and use the open E string. You're skipping a string again on that one. This way of playing it in my mind, the way I like to do this, is because it really brings out the descending bass pattern. it just really helps to emphasize that. So that last chord I played was a D7 and then a C in the bass. You can just bring your pinky up to the third fret on the A string. You can see on the tab exactly what I played on that one. And that is it for the A section of the song. It only has two sections in it and you just play this, you loop this around and around and around until you move to the B section, which kind of functions as a bridge, but uh, it's more just like a B section of the song. Now, for that section of the song, I like to kind of open things up with a bit of strumming. You'll still use the other technique as well. I'll show you what I mean when I get there. But before I do that, let's talk about how you can just strum the chords if you want to. If you don't want to do the arpeggios, you can just strum. doesn't bring out the uh, descending bass line uh, as much as I personally like, but you can do that. And a simple strumming pattern like that will get you through the song. Down, 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 up. You can just use that for all the chords if you like. But again, I really love the uh, arpeggios because it just emphasizes that bass line. is such a big part of the song, right? So let's talk about the next part of the song, okay? We're going to move from a C chord to a D chord. And I like to strum these two chords out because it feels like the song is kind of building right here a little bit. And then I return to the arpeggios for the uh, next descending uh, line. So what I do with the C and the D is I play it like this. talk about 
about the rest of that as well. Uh, once again, as I said, you can just play that whole part like this. That's perfectly fine as well, uh, but uh, what I'm doing when I'm strumming it is down, down, up, down, basically. Down, down, up, down. But of course, keep your right hand moving. Okay, so you can play it either way. Whatever uh, suits you is totally fine. So let's talk about what's happening on that G chord. I play it like this. Third finger on the uh, third fret on the top string and my pinky on the uh, first E string. All right, and so you can see on the uh, tab what I'm doing. I'm skipping a string. It's the same pattern that we've been using. Okay, now what I like to do, if you want, you could just bring this finger down, bring your uh, ring finger down to the uh, third fret on the uh, D string, then to the second fret, and then open. Feel free to do that. I leave my finger there and manipulate it like that because I like to hear that bass note ringing through. Because technically what we have is a G chord, a G7, G6, and then back to a G. So I like to keep that bass note in there. You can hear the difference. If I take my finger off, it kind of loses its resonance. I like to keep that ringing. But again, all you're doing with that is descending that D string right through the chord, okay? to the D major chord and then with a C in the bass and then you're just back you repeat that again first and then you go right back to the other part so that's it there's an A section and a B that's it with mind games from John Lennon and uh, played on guitar of course and I will definitely get to some more of his tunes okay so uh, all the best to everyone I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you in the next video <laughs>